for folks like me that didn't know this, this is a 1959 Corvette. It was made at the St. Louis factory. There was only 9,670 of these produced that year. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something different. I actually found this by messaging, messaging a man about a Mac that I seen on Facebook. He was close to the house, and so I said, well, I'm going to go check it out, see if I can do a will it start for him. He said it was for sale. Well, when I got here, I found all kind of stuff in these barns. Mickey took me around and showed me all of the barns that was full of these vehicles. I know a lot of them's not for sale, but I know a lot of them are for sale. And if you see something that you want, that you just got to have, make an offer. I'm not saying they won't part with it. I don't know anything about them, but most of the time, you know, if, uh, not everything's for sale, but most of the time when you buy and sell, there's a lot of things that I, yeah, I take that. Here's an old Ford. Don't know if it's a 3,000 or a 4,000. Don't know if it was running when parked, but it's been under a roof. Tires looks like they're still up on. It's kind of dark in here. It's hard for me to actually see. I'm gonna give us the contact info and it'll be in the link in the description. And if you see anything here you're interested in, you can contact him. Most of it's for sale. He'll let you know what's not if you ask about it. I see one more tractor back in the back. Edit it out. Sir. <laughs> I said, if I fall on my face, you can edit it out. <laughs> that's, what, that's what makes the good videos. Because <laughs> they always, I can't get around like you. I got to get on top. Old Volkswagen. An old conversion of some type. Old style dune buggy. Old style dune buggy. It's packed in here pretty good where we are. So if we're not getting some real good shots, I am sorry. Just trying to. Just trying to get you an idea of what it is you see. Mm-mm-mm-mm. He just, he, uh, he was a collector of, uh, a lot of things, wasn't he? Yes, he <laughs> Probably some of this was used on a, well, there's a, Help us out here in the comments when you when you see something you know what it is. Well I tell you what, I don't know what something is, but now that's got some wooden rims here. That's part of the name over here. That's I <laughs> no, I'm talking about this old car right here. That's got some wooden That's, wheels. If I'm not mistaken, it's 1916 Franklin. A 1916 Franklin. Aircraft type engine. An aircraft air, type engine? Air cool. Air cool. <laughs> this is just something you don't see every day. No. no. 
I don't believe I've ever actually been around a vehicle personally that had the wooden wheel. That is wood, yeah. Yeah, they would. Hope y'all can get an idea of what this looks like. This has been sitting here a little while. That wheel is buried up pretty, pretty well good. <laughs> sir? Most of this stuff's been sitting here well over 20 years. Yes, sir. There'd be some absolutely enjoyable to come in here and This and that, I bet you that thing would just pop off. Let's see. I make them just kind of walk around on the outside and get a, a view of this tractor right. on the other side. I'm going in the jungle. But here's the here's the other side of this John Deere. Look at that. This would be an awesome project right here. Try to get to and start. Don't know anything about it. I'm having to film with my phone because it's so dark in these barns that the GoPro won't pick it up or whatever. I don't really know if it's a GoPro. But anyway, the camera that we usually use won't pick it up. I believe this is the most valuable piece that he has collected. It's a Corvette, and he has, he's out there talking to a man that has showed up to purchase some stuff. He told me to just come through here and walk through, make myself at home, so that's what I'm doing. But I'll get the information what year this is. I'm not for sure it's for sale, but as a lot of y'all know, Most everything's for sale. Let's see what year model this tag was, last tag. 1984. How about that? Well, that was 40 years ago. Let's look inside this thing. Wow, look at that. Look at that dash. A hundred and sixty miles an hour is what it registers. Somebody has been looking at it. They looked at the miles on it. Let's see if we can give it. Not going to be able to tell from here, but hopefully you'll be able to. Look, look at the rear view mirror right there. Definitely says Corvette.
Let's pop the hood. Not the hood, the trunk. There's some headers and some light covers. Have some of the parts in the trunk. That would be normal. All right, guys. There it is. Okay, old Camaro. C28. Let's see what it looks like in here, shall we? Can't on that side. March of 14. That's not been sitting here for 10 years. Now this is a Malibu. Four door. Automatic. Let's see. Can't tell much about where that one come from. reason I got tickled a minute ago, I used to have one. I used to have a swimming pool, and I have, I have one of these things just like that. I'm going to see if I can just happen to see the miles. Get up where we can see the miles. Hopefully you can make that out. Galaxy 500. But I will open this door. Uh oh. Look at that. 1967. I'm leaning over here in the danger zone because I'm top heavy. And won't be able to get out real quick. Trying to get y'all some mileage. Just trying to get some mileage off of it. I believe it says 53,776. AM radio. This thing's <laughs> this thing is not in bad shape at all. It was autos on. Let's see when the last time he went auto zone was. It couldn't be that long ago. I don't know how long auto zones have been around. Uh, <laughs> 2015. Let's see. Maybe we can figure out what it is. Toyota MR2. Got a Ranger. Little OS10. Thank you. 
much badge as that. It's a Plymouth. That tag light right there. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Oh. And uh Baylor 57 Chevy. Jaguar. This thing is just absolutely awesome. Let's see if we can see the miles on this baby. This thing is getting broke in. Some, somebody put a heat track in it. Back seat heat. They done some modifying. See y'all. Okay. There it is. This might not be a Jaguar. <laughs> Got a rear view mirror right there. Radiator cap. That's probably worth a little bit of money right there. I will not, I'm not going to turn it. There's an old Toyota. Another station wagon, a four-wheeler, boats, thirty-five horsepower, Toyota, Bobby. more play equipment there is <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is never seen that but this uh, See anything coming out of there I need to be watching for? All right. There's what she looks like. Don't know if that looks familiar to any of your own. Build a door out here. Another, uh, dang, I forgot the name of the Pontiac ones. I don't know if that's a thousand dollars or this is Skylark. Don't know. There again, they'd be glad to help you if you have any interest in this stuff. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. There it is. 
and it's not that bad. Honestly. And let's see if we can get the mileage off this one. Too many in. 1,550 miles. You think this one may have rolled over? I think so. This is not a bad looking interior. Another oldie. Usually kind of tells us on the back. Naturally, it's an antique. But... Oh, it's a Chevrolet. I had a friend of mine that got addicted to brake fluid. And we talked to him about it. He kept telling us he could stop any time. Okay, uh, enthusiast. What kind is this? I know it's a Chevrolet, but... Good gracious, what some horns. Excuse me. Let's look on the inside. Boy, oh boy. I'm not going to climb over and check the miles on this one. I'm guessing 75 model, maybe. These was all local to the 1994. These was all local cars could have been his children's let's see what it looks like in here shall we oh got that red got that red interior on this thing my brother got one of these in 1976 let's see what kind of miles is on this one it's dark in here Well, there you go. Custom 10. Chevron. Don't know if that was a a jobber. You know, local jobber, I guess is what you call them, or if it was a company Chevron truck. But we'll be able to check it. Zoom in. We gonna check this tag. Oh boy. No, we're not neither. Stuck. Okay, this tractor looks familiar. You know, I started one uh, like it down at Patrick's. But the people can tell what it is when they see it. I can't. But something about uh, this looks just identical to that one, like a 600, a Ford 600. Maybe it's what they told me. I, I can't hardly remember because it's been over five minutes ago. That's not bad looking old tractor. Volkswagen, Volkswagen, huh? For those doom buggies. Volkswagen. 
I was gonna do some fixing up and I had a flat tire and that's probably what did it. All right, here we go with a with another one. Santa, Santa Claus. There's so many people that can tell just by looking at them without them having to have a name identification, but I can't. Uh, don't know just exactly what that one is. It is. Here's another one. Seems like I've seen that cap somewhere before. Uh, that probably identifies it. Still don't know what it is. This is a Ford. Why am I guessing for? <laughs> there's what I that's what I know. That's a Ferguson. So much for thinking color's gonna get me somewhere. Wouldn't know what to guess on this one. There's that one, two, three, four, five. There's five right there. Here's number six. pieces oh here's an old John Deere ain't it? is that an old John Deere here's seven Here's eight, it's, it's forward. You see kind of the color I was getting fooled by about the Ferguson and that? That's why I jumped out there and, and said what I said. Looks like they're missing the, got some transmission issues back there in the back. Let's see. What does that badge say? Golden Jubilee. Well, okay. Done something here, cause there's fresh oil right there. Somebody might've tried to start this 35 Ferguson Deluxe. Let's see, so we're, we was five, six, seven, eight. This is the eighth one in this shed. The El Camino. Oh, I like these. I'm trying to think. I am going to guess, is it after, is it a 75? I 
I, I can't tell. I, I just try to go by the headlights, you know. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing the 75 mile. Don't really know for sure. But people like an El Camino. She looks like. There's a Torino for 5,000. Let's see. Can't get in that way. See what this is, see if it let us in this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> there you go. Got a key. Torino GT. Somebody's out there looking for one. I am not sure about the 165, but you can certainly uh, get up with Mickey. And he can tell you. Another S10 with a buggy frame. I'm just walking by these. There's a little Toyota diesel. That thing probably got about 50, 60 miles to the gallon. Got a Volkswagen. I can walk around this one. Somebody might have interest in it. Oh, that's from the county I'm from, which is not strange. Oh, not strange since it's the next county over. I don't know if that says anything or not, but I can't make anything out of it. And I rock, huh? It's a Toyota Wally. Come on, man. Well, I'm gonna guess that's a Toyota. That's a Honda Wiley. Here's a Volkswagen. Let's take a look inside. See what she looks like. I 
I'm quick guessing at what these cars are. An MB. Seems like I've seen that badge, but I don't know. This thing was drove in 19, I mean 2006. Maybe that'll get it. Well, might as well. I seen the window open. Don't know if it got us anything or not. Was that the first zero turn? The Ride King. I got it there. They're in the had a CB one hundred. I wonder where's that it. Did same color and everything. Massive amounts of motorcycles. Little Yamaha mini bike. Three wheeler. He was partial to Hondas. That was tagged in 1998, 26 years ago. Guessing a 70s model. Step side. Three on the tree. Drove one just like it. Let's see what this looks like under here. Looks like somebody's been under here looking. Here's a 454 Impala station wagon. You wonder what that thing got back in the day, miles per gallon. Impala station wagon. Don't know if these was old family units of him or not. Here's an old custom 350. Let's see what this looks like in here. All right. Can't really get in there. Can't really tell. I, I can't get in there. A bunch of nails in here. But I believe this right here don't have a K on it, so door slams good. Door slams. Door shuts good. Yeah. Yeah, I went in the But wouldn't this be like a 57 had the fins like this? 
I think I'm right. I'm gonna show it to you anyway, even though it's a a keeper, just maybe. Someone had never seen the inside of a, possibly a 57. Kind of musky smelling in here. But honestly, it's not that bad in here. That's kind of bad back there. Four Fairlane, V8. Fairlane 500. Three on the tree. Got a little damage to it. Exactly what he converted this to. Or converted it from, or if it was like that. But I love them windows, and back windows. There's one of them old International's ashtrays. Found one in a an old uh, ton and a half truck, two ton down in Florida. We scrapped that. I took it. I still have it. Excuse me. All right, maybe that'll tell us something. We are a Coast Guard family. You can see that from the outside. Don't know your model. See if we can peek under that. It's probably going to be a F100 V8. That gum. I'm sorry, I seen that rope. Jeez, I got me skittish. That rope moved about the time. I got to hold the hood up so I can't do much maneuvering. If you can tell good enough, but there it is. Who <laughs> is not light? and get the best as I can as I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, oh, Camaro. Let's 
G28. Let's see what it looks like in here, shall we? Cane on that side. March of 14. That's not been sitting here for 10 years. I got it locked. Now this is a Malibu. Four door. Automatic. Uh, let's see can't tell much about where that one come from <laughs> the reason I got tickled a minute ago I used to have one I used to have a swimming pool and I have I have one of these things just like that I'm gonna see if I can just happened to see the miles. Get it where we can see the miles. Back in the day. Oh, there it is. Right where I thought it was. Hopefully, that, uh, hopefully you can make that out. No dodge. Five windows. <clears throat> Not sure what this goes to. Let's see if we can look in here. Just get on the other side, see if we can tell the mileage. Now that was one heck of a horn, wasn't it?
Let's see. Just gonna do the best we can with it. Not sure what you can and can't see. Hopefully. Sometimes when you get a different angle, you can see it better. Hello, Mons. Pontiac Le Mans. This one was last tagged in 95. Nichols Old and Pont Nichols Olds Olds Pontiac. I believe they out of Troy. I was out of Troy. Let's see what we see in here. Too bad, is it? See if we can get a mileage off this thing. Let's see. Yeah. I believe that says ninety nine thousand three hundred nine. Just getting broke in green. Camaro. Got a little damage in the back. This one was a 97, Dale County, over where Fort Rooker is. It's probably, they got these Camaro doors locked. Probably a military man at one time, I would guess. on it a lot of y'all enthusiasts I know just right now what it is what engine it is I think the back's gonna tell us something now, this is a this is a Skylark okay 
I, I heard y'all say that before I got here. This is a Skylark Custom. Was this Buick's version of the Chevelle? I know GM own both companies, but it almost looks like the Chevelle. The truck's not for sale, but the two bodies is the bed. They're going to make something out of the uh, the truck. If anybody's in the tree service business that needs that to protect it, that, that, that looks like a good one. Our next will it start. They backed it right there in 2017. Show you some other stuff he's got sitting out here that you may or may not be interested in. Somebody's viewing might see something they're interested in and I just want to try to get you a good view of what's here. Some engines in there. Transmissions hooked to a couple of them. F700 with a bed on it. Jacob and I will probably attempt this one too. Uh, it was somewhere in the 95 last tagged. A couple of air com air uh, air compressors in there. Old Ford. That'd be a love, wouldn't it? That's an old Ford love before the Ranger hand. Or was that a Chevy love? Yeah, I think that's a Chevy love. Yeah. Uh, international Jacob and I probably gonna attempt this one too to start it Was that old Maverick? I remember those souped up ghost cart, go, ghost cart, golf cart. There's a trailer, utility trailer. Has some pretty heavy duty axles under it. Pinnel hitch. Here's a, a Ford Galaxy. 500 with a 352 in it But that's where I was walking through not that chicken house there, but those chicken houses back there Is where I was and this was just sitting out here coming out and I I just want to send you a picture of that Who knows? May have to have somebody may have to have something right there some of y'all might see something you want just right there at them three. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching. If you're interested in any of this, contact Mickey. Link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching. And remember, don't be wily.